Hi, I'm Virginia from Titan Robotics. And I'm Aiden. Today we'll be teaching you about surface tension. Surface tension is the result of liquids wanting to have the least amount of surface area as possible. In space, floating liquids naturally turn into spheres because surface tension doesn't have to work against gravity, while on Earth, this round shape is squished to make the drops we are used to. In space, floating liquids become spheres because spheres have the lowest surface area of any shape. This concept can be demonstrated using a penny and some sort of dropper. If you try to put drops of water on the penny, you'll see that even as you keep adding more, the water goes beyond the edge of the penny. This is because of surface tension trying to compact all of the water into as small a space as possible. Try this experiment at home and see how many drops of water you can get on your penny. It might be more than you expect. Changing the shape of a liquid isn't the only function of surface tension. If we dunk this paperclip just directly into the water, it's going to sink because it, it's more dense than the water itself. However, if we lightly float it on the surface of this water, we can see that it won't sink because of surface tension. This works because the water wants to maintain its shape with a low surface area, so it holds the paper clip up. If we look closely, we can see that the water is bending around the paper clip to try and support it. I've just put some dish soap on my finger. And what dish soap does is it reverses the effects of surface tension and basically breaks all of the tension that exists in the water. So we can see that if we put, if we mix in some soap with the water, the paper clip should sink. Let's see. The next experiment I will show you also involves dish soap. If we sprinkle the pepper on top of the normal water, it floats because the surface tension is strong enough to keep the pepper afloat. If we add dish soap, the surface tension is reduced and the pepper sinks just like the paper clip. Thanks for tuning into this lesson on surface tension. That's all we have for now, um, but as always, feel free to email us at frc5587 at gmail.com with any questions, comments, or concerns. Bye.